So hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss about quadratic probing. So if you remember in the last, last video, we discussed about linear probing and how it was able to solve the collisions. So essentially what we did was there were some keys like 25, 10, 54, 38, 36, 18, 28, 12, 19, and then 41. And our task was to um, look for a slot in the hash table and then add these keys. So we want to store these keys into our hash table. So what we did was to have uh, the hash function key modulo uh key modulo the number the n so which in this case is 13 okay so for example uh 25 modulo 13 is 12 so we added 12 to uh, 25 to the 12 bucket so 10 modulo 13 is 10 so we added 10 to the 10th bucket 54 was in the uh 54 modulo 13 is equal to 2, so we added 54 to the uh, second bucket. 38 modulo, uh, 38 modulo 13 is equal to 12, so we were supposed to add it on the 12th bucket, but 25 is already here, so there was some collision that happened. So essentially, what we wanted is to look for another slot where we can add 38, right? So initially, what we had was the linear probing. So we're in, we just have to look for the next empty in a slot and then continue looking for a slot linearly. But um, now I'm going to introduce you to another uh, probing technique. So in this case, it is quadratic. Okay, so what is quadratic now pro uh, probing? So instead of proceeding to the, to the next slot, like we have H, and then we have h plus 1, and then h plus 2, h plus 3, and so on. What we have in the quadratic probing is um, we have h, and then h plus 1 squared plus h plus 2 squared, then h plus 3 squared, and so on. Okay, so this is to evade the clustering that is um, essentially happening when we do the linear now uh, probing. Okay, so the, in this example, I'm going to show you how this quadratic pro quadratic probing can be applied. Okay, so let me just rewrite this one. So for quadratic probing, it's h then h plus one squared, then h plus two squared, then h plus three squared, and so on. Okay, so let us check. Let us start with the twenty five. So 25 modulo 13. So in this case, n is still equal to 13. It's a given. Is equal to 12. Uh, is equal to 12. So since uh, 20, uh, 12 in the bucket is empty, so we just add 25 here. Okay. So let me just rewrite this to make it more consistent. So we have 25 modulo 13 is equal to 12. Okay, now let's move on to the next 10. So 10 modulo 13 is equal to 10. So since 10 bucket, it's still empty. So we add 10 here. Okay, next 54. 54 modulo 13 is equal to uh, 2. Okay, so since the second bucket is empty, there is no collision, so we add 54 here. Okay, we are done with the first three keys. Okay, next is we have 38. Now, 38 modulo 13 is equal to 12. So we are supposed to add 38 here, but 25 is already occupying this bucket. So what we are going to do is to look for another the bucket we are going to probe the hash table to look for an empty slot so what we are going to do first is to add use this one h plus uh h plus one so 38 plus one squared modulo 13 so that is just 39 modulo 13 and that is equal to zero so uh 30 uh, 38 will be added in the zero back bucket. 
So 38 will be added here. Okay. Next is we have 36. So 36 modulo 13 is equal to 10. So, but then we are going to, uh, supposed to add 36 here in the 10th pocket, but there's a collision because 10 is already there. So, let us do some computations. So, we have 36 plus 1 squared modulo 13 equals, and uh, that is just equal to 11. So, we are going to add 36 to the next slot, 11. So we add 36 here. Okay, so we are done with the 38 as well as the 36. Let's look at 18. So 18 modulo 13 is equal to 5. So let's look at fifth bucket. So fifth bucket is empty. So we add 18 here. Okay. And then next is we have uh, 28. So, 28 modulo 13 is equal to uh, 2. So, but then if we look at the second bucket, 54 is already here. So, we have to look for another in a bucket. So, let's add 1. So, 28 plus 1 squared modulo 13, and that is just uh, 29, right? So, that means that we, are, we just have to take the next slot. So, that will be the third one. So third one, third bucket is empty. So we add 28 here. Okay, let's erase this part. Next is we have uh, 12. Now for the 12th bucket, so as you can see, um, it is a bit better because uh, um, the way we, the number of computations is, is lesser compared to the uh, linear and probing, right? Okay, going back. So 12 in a bucket. 12 modulo 13 is equal to 12. So let's look at 12 buckets. So it's actually occupied by 25. So we cannot put 12 in there. So let's um, do h plus 1 squared. So 12 plus 1 squared modulo 13. And that is just equal to 13. Uh, 0 rather. Since um, we only have uh, 13 now. Uh, 13 buckets okay so it's zero so it's let's look at the zero bucket so 38 is already there so that means that we can no longer put 12 in there so that uh let's iterate again so h plus 2 squared so that means that 12 plus 2 squared modulo 13 or that is just equal to 12 plus 4 modulo 13 and that is just equal to 3 okay so let's look at the third bucket so 28 is already there we cannot put uh we cannot put 12 in there so next we are going to have 12 plus um 3 squared so h plus 3 squared or 12 plus 3 squared or 12 plus 9 modulo 13 and that is just equal to 8. And if we look at the 8th bucket, it's empty. So we can add 12 in there. Okay. Next, we are done with the 12th key. So let's see at nine, let's see 90. 90 modulo 13 is equal to 12. So we are supposed to put 90 here, but it's already occupied by 25. So we are going to... Um, probe again, so h plus 1 squared, so just 90 plus 1 squared modulo 13, that is just equal to uh, 91 modulo 13, so it's 0, and if we look at the 0 with bucket, 38 is already there, so we have to look for another slot. So in this case, we are done with h plus 1 squared, so it, we have we the next will be h plus 2 squared, so that will be 90 plus 2 squared modulo 13, or that's just 94. So, and it is equal to 3. So let's look at the third bucket. So the third bucket is also occupied. So that means that we have to look for another one. So next we have uh, 90 plus 3 squared, or 99 
So modulo 13, and that is just equal to 8. And if you look at the 8 pocket, it's already occupied by 12. So we have to look for another one. So we have 90 plus 4 squared, or 90 plus 16, modulo 13. So 90 plus 4 squared modulo 13 is equal to 2. And if we look at 2, it's also occupied. So let's look for another one. So in this case, we have 90 plus 5 squared modulo 13. So 5 squared is 25. And um, it's actually 11. So let's look at the 11 slot that's still occupied. right? So we don't want that. Let's look for another one. Let's see, 90 plus 6 squared, or if that's just 36, modulo 13, and it's actually 9. And if we look at 9, it's empty, so we are going to add 90 here. So this is, now we have completed, um, almost. So we have completed completing, looking for a slot for 19. So what about for 41? Where can we put 41? Let's see. So we have let me put this one. So we have 41 here. So 41 modulo 13 is equal to 2. So let's look for the super slot. So we can put 41 here on the second bucket. No, because it's occupied by 54. So let's look at h plus 1 squared, or 41 plus 1 squared modulo 13, and that is just equal to 3. Okay. So if we look at the third pocket, it's also occupied by 28. So we have to look for another one. So 41 plus 2 squared, or 41 plus 4 modulo 13, and that is equal to 6. So if we look at the sixth bucket, it's empty. So we add 41 here. So if we look at the computation earlier for 41, so there were a lot, right? So there were a lot of computations. So in here, we have quickly evaded those clusters and we were able to quickly find some space for 41. Okay, and this is the uh, final answer. 38 is on the zero now, uh, bucket, 54 in the second, 28 in the third one, 18 in the fifth one, 41 in the sixth one, and then 12 in the eighth, and 90 in the ninth, then in the 10th bucket, 36 in the 11th bucket, and lastly 25 in the 12th bucket. Okay, so this is a quadratic probing. So I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for listening.